Aaron got two A's on his report card. They were both in the word Aaron, okay? My intelligence has been attacked. He put on a magic helmet, and that G made him a genius. I don't give a what he says about me. Aaron Rodgers is too arrogant to know how ignorant he is. They let him host Jeopardy for two weeks. Now he knows everything. This hamster-brained man. Kimmel blasted Aaron for almost seven minutes. He's called him Karen Rodgers, suggested he apologize, and ridiculed him for pushing conspiracy theories. A lot of delusional people honestly believe I am meeting up with Tom Hanks and Oprah at Shakey's once a week to eat pizza and drink the blood of children. And I know this because I hear from these people often. And I don't know Jeffrey Epstein. I've never met Jeffrey Epstein. I'm not on a list. I was not on a plane or an island or anything ever. I'm glad that, that Jimmy uh, is not on the list. Aaron fired back 10 and a half hours later on the Pat McAfee show. You know, I think it's impressive that a man who went to uh, Arizona State and has 10 uh, joke writers can read off a prompter. He didn't apologize, claiming instead that his comments last week were misinterpreted. Are these Aaron. people actually watched the clip and how many how many people just saw a headline? The Epstein list. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't happen. The quarterback was adamant about one thing. He never meant to suggest the late night host was a pedophile. I'm not calling him one, and neither should you. Those are serious accusations. There's still a lot of other things that are gonna come out. Aaron, who is a regular Tuesday guest on the show, has reportedly been paid over a million dollars for his appearances on the Pat McAfee show by the host himself. Just six days ago, McAfee apologized for airing Aaron's initial comments about Kimmel. Can understand why Jimmy got incredibly pissed. Yeah. yeah. We apologize for being a part of it. All of this is kind of a nightmare for Disney. Obviously, we've all been Jimmy Kimmel fans since way back. The company owns ESPN, which airs McAfee's show, and ABC, where Jimmy has been a late-night fixture for 21 years. I'm happy we're moving on. Let's talk about sports now.